Do you read The Onion? Many people know The Onion to be a satirical news source with absurd stories that are obviously fictitious from the title of their headlines. Nobody takes it seriously, and that's the way it should be. Yet, there are some news stories that one may think comes from this untrue news source, but these stories are actually true, albeit very funny. You may have a hard time believing some of these are actual news stories, but we also provided the articles. Some are funny, others are just cringeworthy. I'm Mike with List 25, and here are 25 funny headlines that actually should have come from The Onion, but didn't. 25. Pug starts fight with police dog during four hour standoff. While police were outside the home of a robbery suspect in Phoenix, Arizona, a neighborhood pug tried to start a fight with the police's much larger and highly trained police dog. Luckily, neither dog was injured. Perhaps the saying, it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog may need to be re-examined. 24. Taliban hostage thought captors were joking that Trump was president. Joshua Boyle and his wife, Caitlin Coleman, were hostages of the Haqqani network in Afghanistan. They were deprived of any information that came from the outside world while enduring cruel punishment at the hands of their captors. They endured this nightmare for five years. When they were told that reality TV star Donald Trump was now the president, they thought someone was playing a cruel joke. 23. Woman in sumo wrestler suit assaults ex-girlfriend who waved at a man dressed as Snickers bar. Sandra Talbot attacked her ex-girlfriend at a well-known gay bar in Dublin, Ireland. The fight supposedly started over the sumo suit that Talbot was wearing and grew violent when Talbot's ex-girlfriend, Adrian Martin, waved at another patron wearing a Snickers costume. I'm guessing the relationship had been nuts from the beginning. Ow, I hurt my hand flapping my phone. Yeah, well you hurt me by talking. Well, I've got some bad news for you. 22. Student excited that dad got head job. The student the article is referring to is Samantha Bangino, whose father had been hired as an assistant coach for Oklahoma. I'm happy for the dad, but that editor may want to look over articles a little more carefully next time. 21. Shoplifter shoves chainsaw down his pants. The interesting aspect of this robbery is not that the man shoved the chainsaw down his pants, but how much effort he went into stealing the chainsaw. He shoved the blade down his pants and then covered the handle with his jacket. He got away in a getaway car driven by an accomplice who had apparently been casing the joint a week before the incident. 20. Falling iguana alert issued in Florida due to cold temperatures. Don't assume that they're dead. Ah, uh, yes, it's that time of year in Florida once again. The temperature drops below 40, every cold-blooded Floridian breaks out their winter coats, and the iguanas fall from the sky. No, really, when the temperature gets below 40, iguana's blood moves slowly, and because of their cold-blooded nature, they fall out of the trees they perch in. Miami's National Weather Service has warned passerbys to leave them alone, as they feel they might be threatened and bite once they warm up. 19. Florida woman calls 911 after McDonald's runs out of McNuggets. The woman in question, LaTriasa Goodman, called 911 three times after she paid for a 10-piece order of the nuggets, and they didn't have it. In all fairness, they did try to offer her a McDouble, but she didn't want it, because when you want chicken nuggets, nothing else will suffice. 18. Amputee sought in shooting deaths of parents in Florida. What? How? He must have great teeth, but even then, how is this possible? Either this guy has extraordinary powers, or he used his mouth to hold the gun and then to pull the trigger? You know what? I'm, I'm at a complete loss here. I... 17. <laughs> Tony the Tiger begs furries to stop tweeting him porn. Come on, people, leave Tony alone. What kind of porn would you send to a cartoon tiger, though? You know what? Don't don't answer that. I I we need to keep this a little PG here. Uh, the pornographic material was supposedly sent by furries. 
Furries are a community of people who dress up like an animal with human characteristics. However, it's not always about the sex. What? No, wait. Now it sounds like I'm advocating. I know what it sounds but... like, and I love it. 16. Couple arrest. Everyone's gonna say I'm a furry now. This is the worst list we've ever done. Couple arrested for selling golden tickets to heaven. Tito and Amanda Watts were selling tickets made of what they said was pure gold. The tickets were to be used at the pearly gates of heaven for admittance. Mr. Watts said he was given the tickets by Je Jesus behind the KFC. He also, he also stated that an alien named Stevie told him that if he made enough money from selling the tickets, he he would take Watts and his wife on a flying saucer to his home planet. Made, made completely out of Not making on our weird planets list. Newly discovered planets. <coughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, I want to take it. Kentucky Fried Christ is the joke I was gonna go with until I lost it with the cocaine. 15. <laughs> what? Guy kidnaps elderly man and forces him to eat Mexican food. David Pope kidnapped a 77 year old man in 2015 and forced him to eat enchiladas and drink a gallon of orange juice. How oddly specific. The elderly gentleman said he ate the food because he was in fear for his life. Pope told the man that he had taught himself how to cook authentic Mexican food with a dream of one, <laughs> with a dream of one day working at a Taco Bell. Hey, we all have our dreams, but let's not force them on other people. 14. Man high on LSD. Why is that in quotes? <laughs> Either was or it wasn't. Man high on LSD saves dog from imaginary house fire. Michael Orchard broke into his neighbor's house to save their dog from a house fire. While this does sound very heroic and selfless on Orchard's part, the fire wasn't real. The dog was in no danger and Orchard was tripping. But it's nice to know his heart was in the right place. 13. Warren Lady jacks off to good start. Okay, let's all be mature about this one. Are you good? Okay. In all fairness, this headline is really just a case of bad wording. The Lady Jack's full name is the Lady Lumberjacks, but I have a hard time believing this was not intentional. Come on. Gotta get them clicks. Gots to. Subscribe to List 25. 12. Albert Einstein's quote about living a modest life sells for $1.3 million. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Albert Einstein's advice on how to live a modest and humble life was sold at an auction for over a million dollars. We are very sorry, Mr. Einstein. We have failed you, good sir. 11. Montreal man given $149 ticket for singing Everybody Dance Now in his car. Taufik Moala was charged with disturbing the peace for singing the popular 90s dance song Everybody Dance Now by CNC Music Factory in his car. Moala was driving to get some water when he heard the funky jam and began singing along. Loudly. Shortly after this, he heard a siren and was pulled over. Well, there are definitely worse songs he could have picked. 10. 45 minute standoff with Tiger ends when police realize it's a stuffed toy. Oh man, those pesky tigers. Can you just imagine the scenario? 
Okay, people, we've got a vicious man-eating tiger. I need you on your A game to take it out. Some of you may not make it, but that's the job. All right, let's get it. 10 minutes later, never mind, it's just a plush toy. Wow, this is embarrassing. Good, we did a skit. Didn't see that coming. Nine. Amish teen charged with driving his buggy drunk with friends on the roof. Doesn't this sound like something straight out of a teen movie? Only it's with the Amish. The driver, Robert Miller, who at the time was 18, blew an alcohol level of 0.65%. He was also driving with two friends on top of the buggy, living dangerously. Eight. Cop shot in face by unarmed black man. Now, we here at List 25 don't condone violence upon the police or anyone. But seriously, how does this even make a lick of sense? In case this needs explanation, here we go. If a person shoots someone, they are armed. If they are unarmed, they can't shoot someone, unless you're that guy from earlier. Now, he could have been armed at the time and then ditched the weapon, but even then, the headline doesn't really make sense. Seven. Woman boards flight to find her seat assignment is in the plane's lavatory. Imagine getting seated in a plane and your seat is less than a coach seat. Well, say hello to Satwika Ika. She was traveling to Jakarta and her ticket was for 35F. The problem is that the airline Lion Air only had 34 rows. Ika's ticket was for the plane's bathroom. That stinks. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Six. Two elderly men sneak out of nursing home to attend heavy metal festival. Here's a story that rocks hardcore, huh? Mm. Two men snuck out of their retirement home to attend a heavy metal music festival. It just goes to show you that age is only a number. Uh-oh. <laughs> These guys are probably more, probably rock stars at heart. <laughs> Five. Loose donkey gets field sobriety test in Connecticut. A donkey was stopped and given a breathalyzer test after it had been found roaming around. Fortunately, the police officers gave the test as a joke. The donkey was reunited with its owner. Oh, that's nice. Four. Study. Rich, more likely to take candy from babies. A study was conducted at the National Academy of Sciences to test who would actually take candy from a baby. The assignment was to divide the students into one group who felt they were upper class and the other group feeling like they were lower class. They were then given a jar of candy and told they could take as much as they wanted and the remainder would go to children and a nearby lab. Well, guess who ate the most candy? Yeah, the rich kids. Maybe due to an increased sense of entitlement? Or improper parenting, that's my bad. Three, drunk woman steals 45 foot ferry while shouting, I'm Jack Sparrow. Allison Wellen and a friend boarded the Dark Princess after a drinking spree. They had imbibed Lambrini and ate a poisonous nightshade, which causes hallucinations. Wellen managed to steal the boat and play bumper boats with other ships at sea before finally being arrested. She may be the worst pirate I've ever heard of. But you have heard of her. I have. Two, Florida rapper hands cop his mixtape instead of ID after being pulled over. A man was pulled over in Delray Beach, Florida for reckless driving. When the officer asked for his license, the man, who was apparently also an aspiring rapper, gave the cop his mixtape. The rapper, along with some of his cohorts, ended up fleeing the scene. Now, I don't know if the cop ever gave the mixtape a listen to, but if I had to guess, I'd say, probably not. I would have. Well, yeah. One. Study shows teen pregnancy drops significantly after age 19. I don't know if this article is being redundant or blatantly obvious or maybe both, but either way, in the words of Billie Eilish, duh. 
You do know that after the age 19 is the age 20, which, in case you don't know, is no longer in the teens, so it's no longer considered a teen pregnancy. So, what's the craziest non-onion headline you've ever seen? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at list25, or to me personally, at Michael B. Estrin. And if you like this video, check out the ones in this playlist here.